Okay, so this is a basic understanding of happy science teachings and El Lord El Cantare from Hinduism perspective. So based on this understanding, today I'd like to add some further inform, uh, uh, you know, teachings. What is the right meditation? Okay. So people like people like like to practice meditation. So after coming to India, uh, you know, many people ask me, please teach me meditation. But I understand El Cantar's way of meditation and Hinduism based, you know, uh, meditation is different. So first, purpose. Purpose. Maybe this purpose is, should be okay. Should be okay. Uh, Hinduism people try to be one with God. Okay. So how Master Ryu Hokawa El Cantar teaches us. It is actually a method of communicating with the heavenly world, or the world of high spirit. Those who do not understand this may practice meditation for health, or perhaps they simply think it is good to spend time just sitting without thinking about anything, without a purpose. Okay. So, purpose of meditation is to communicate with heavenly world, you know, higher spirit world. It's the purpose of meditation. So to practice proper meditation, there are three points. What is three points? Meditation with prayer, meditation with teachings, meditation with self-reflection. What is meditation with faith? Just I introduce, okay? Those who do not understand, this means spiritual understanding, may practice meditation for health, or perhaps they simply think it is good to spend time just sitting without thinking about anything, without purpose. Okay. So sometimes, you know, you might heard the word Zen meditation, Japanese Zen meditation, and some Zen master taught the men Zen meditation, not believing, based on not believing spirituality and just sitting without thinking. So this kind of Zen master, based on happy science, master focus investigation, some of them went to Hershwar because they didn't believe spirituality. So they didn't know what is the purpose of meditation. So to do meditation, to understand spirituality is very important. We are not this physical body. We have spiritual body. Then center of the spiritual body heart or mind locate. This understanding is very important when we practice meditation. Okay. Then, you know, also we, it's important to understand this world, this materialistic world, third dimension world, is a place for our soul training. Everyone came from, you know, a spiritual world the other world okay then everyone leave this world for soul training so purpose of soul training is to improve our spirituality to improve our level of mind so meditation should understand this purpose we are living in this world for the improvement of our spirituality, improvement of our level of mind. Okay? Then also we should understand when we practice meditation, essence of mind 
is actually divine nature, Buddha nature. We are the one part of light of God. We are the one part of light of Buddha. To recover this true nature of your soul is uh, important when you practice meditation. Okay? If you forget this purpose, your meditation just uh, becomes, uh, you know, wasting time, wasting time, or very materialistic way. Okay, then further, I'd like to ex explain further, meditation with faith. So to believe Lord El Cantare is very, very important. So how we should understand El Cantare? El Cantare is a far greater being who is the primordial Buddha of the universe and the God of the earth and who has ultimate authority over the world's religions. I mentioned, as I mentioned, this is our happy science special sutra, prayer for multiplying happiness and virtue. And how we should understand also uh, El Cantare is the origin of the universe, origin of the uh, universe. And also I'd like to introduce a Elka message from El Cantare. This is uh, uh, from the Lord of Messiah. Okay. From love to love, this is the start and end of my laws. In between, I shall teach a lot with about truth and happiness. Love your Lord God. He is a being who loves you the most. Accept his love with all your heart. El Cantare is with you from the beginning to the end. The being is the father and mother of your souls. I love each and every one of you, now and forever. This is a Lord El Cantare. Okay. When we have faith in El Cantare, we can connect to El Cantare. So based on our faith, we connect to some gods or some, uh, you know, some spiritual being. But if you have faith in El Cantare, actually you can connect to the source of origin. Okay, so if you want to practice meditation properly, please connect the source of origin we call El Cantare. Okay. El Cantare is also the core soul of Vishnu. Please have this understanding. And El Cantare guides, guides all the world regions. Okay, so second, meditation with teachings. The, uh, today, uh, I'd like to introduce the laws of same wavelength attraction from the mystical law. The mind can be described as being like an electric magnet, uh, uh, sorry, electromagnet, and the frequencies transmitted by the mind or the tone of the mind are in state of constant exchange with spirit world. The two affecting and being affected by each other. The mind is connected to the spirit world in this way. So I said, we are spiritual being, we are spiritual being, then center of our soul around our chest and chest area, mind locates. So this mind is like an electromagnet and connected to, to connect to the spiritual world. So this states teaching based on Elkanta teaching, laws the law of same wavelength attraction. Okay? So same mentality or same wavelength attract each other. So when we practice meditation, we should know this rule. So if our mind is not happy, we connect to the hellish world. Okay. So without knowing these teachings, if you practice this meditation, it's very, very dangerous. If you are happy, it's okay. 
that if you get angry, so negative thought transmitted into the spiritual world, then you will attract evil beings. Okay. So I mentioned, I introduced the you know laws of eternity. Master teaches us the big spiritual world teachings. Without knowing this big world spiritual world teachings, if you practice meditation, you don't know what is your mind status, what is your connection in your meditation to the spiritual world. What is your connection to the spiritual world in your meditation? So we should know proper spiritual knowledge. Then we should practice meditation. We should know proper spiritual knowledge and we should know proper mind teachings. Then we should practice meditation. And sometimes we, without knowing this spiritual truth, spiritual knowledge, our meditation connects to the hellish world or minor heavenly world. So just doing meditation is sometimes very, very dangerous. So we have to know Elkantara teachings properly. So, Master Yuho Okawa published more than 3,200 books. So, uh, please study Elkantara teachings for your proper meditation. So, meditation with self reflection. Okay. So, what is self reflection? Self-reflection is like, a, you know, cleaning your mind, polishing your mind. How master teaches us. Prax practicing self-reflection requires a humble attitude. Looking humbly at your mistakes enable you to set them right. Okay? So you have many mistakes in your uh, mind. Actually, we have, we have many mistakes in our mind, in a day and in a week, in a month, in your ear and you know from your uh, birth yeah so if you find mistakes please correct them this is a like a please correct means please decide not to repeat same things again okay so uh without a sense of humility the six worldly delusions greed anger foolishness pride doubt and false views will uh break Havoc upon your mind. You can free yourself from these delusions if you can restore your true self as a child of, of Buddha. Okay. So, through self reflection, please remove these six poisons of mind. As a beginner, it's okay. Just focusing on three poisons of mind is also okay. Greed, anger, foolishness. Foolishness is a repeated three same mistakes again. Again, arrogance and doubt and false view is a especially like a materialistic thinking. Okay. When how, you know, a master teaches us, the mind is not something that can be purified in an instant through some kind of ceremony. To purify the mind, it is vital to look deeply into one's own mind on the basis of right teachings okay and make it shine in the same way that you polish a mirror only by accumulating this kind of spiritual training will be will you be able to radiate light so just praying is actually not enough and if you ask richard to purify your soul or something like that it's not possible it's <laughs> it's uh, impossible Okay, so we have to practice daily self-reflection based on right teachings. Like a polishing mirror, polishing mirror. Please imagine your mind is like a mirror, mirror. So if you imagine like that, you can find something mistake in your mind. Then if you find some mistakes, please remove these negative thoughts, then decide not to repeat again. This is a way to polish mirror. Okay, so uh, 
So when we then further advanced way, further advanced way to uh, uh, for the self reflection, Buddha and Master Nihuoka teaches us eightfold paths: right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right ready, right effort, and right will, right meditation. Those who can practice these points. Right view, right thought, right speech, right action, right reading, right effort, right will, can practice proper meditation. Okay, so to practice right meditation, I simply explain meditation with faith. So believe in spiritual uh, spirituality, then also believe in Lord El Cantare. Then second, meditation with teachings. So please study El Cantare teachings so you can attain proper spiritual knowledge based on faith in El Cantare. Then if you know the proper spiritual knowledge, you can practice proper self-reflection. You know how to control your mind properly. So if you can practice self-reflection, actually you can practice deeper meditation, proper meditation, safer meditation. This is how El Cantar teaches us. 